Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about, is this one position the main cause of your neck pain? Try this simple test. So basically, with neck pain, quite often what Brad and I see, it's the forward head posture that's a problem. So Brad, let's demonstrate that. You from your side, my from this side, and you're just, your head is forward. And... The problem with that is that every inch your neck moves forward puts 10 more pounds of pressure on your neck. So if you get three inches forward, that's 30 pounds of extra pressure on your neck. So one simple test you can do to see if this is the problem, one, you can hang out in this direction for quite a while and see if your pain starts increasing, but you might be able to enhance it a little bit if you actually take your fingers and push down. Yeah. And if that increases your pain, it's, and then you, you try it with your in good posture and push down. And a lot of times you're going to see improvement. Brad, you were saying you heard comments all the time on the internet? Yeah, on about, our channel. People talk about doing the upright posture, starting the chin tuck, and oftentimes immediately find relief with that. However, I know from patients, if they've been this way for a long time, then it takes a little bit more. Oh, it takes a long time. I have actually, I've experienced it myself. It's a very sneaky thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, you know, you're working at the computer. I'm very aware of my posture. I'll even do some chin tucks, and all of a sudden, you just start drifting forward. And then your wife walks by yeah, and walks says, by and criticizes your posture, me. Bob. And, of course, <laughs> I don't want to hear that. So, But <laughs> it, especially once I start getting pain like a headache, mm -hmm. it won't go away. Yeah. I mean, it won't go away until, like, the next day. You know, so. I'll do it, too, and I'll notice at the base of my neck, there's some pain and oftentimes some tingling, like sure. ants walking. And I've heard that from patients mm -hmm. many times. So if you uh, do feel that down, you know, that's a, it's just change your posture. So, yeah, you know, we want you to do the chin tucks, obviously, because that's not only is it a good exercise, but it's also a reminder to get mm -hmm. your neck back in yeah. place. I also like the ones with overpressure bread. <laughs> that actually feels good sometimes. Yeah. That's a stretch. But the common cause of this harmful position of the neck is a lot of things that you probably run into every day. Right. The most common one, I would say, is your computer screen is too low. Yep. Now, Brad's got this set up pretty good for his arms. Right. His, his arms are vertical here and horizontal or, uh, you know, close to it anyway. And uh, that's so his arms are good. But look at his neck. He's, yeah, for him to get... The, so. the screen is way too low. Right. So that's why we suggest that you need a separate keyboard if you have a, a laptop. It just, there's no way around it. Right. And if you don't, uh, uh, if you have a regular, just a regular computer, um, you can actually raise the screen up then. Right. And Whether you use books or boxes or buy an actual plastic screen razor right. that are adjustable, or whatever works for you. But we need to get this screen up and we'll show you in just a bit. As far as the, the keyless or the wireless keyboard, they're not very expensive, 20 or $30. And, that, and that's not a wireless one. <laughs> Well, well, I mean, we, it's a mock one. Yeah, it's a mock one. We but cut, anyways, we it, cut the cord off of a regular one. Right, mark. right. But you know, it works. Good and Brad for videos. put green on there so you can see it real well. Right, because if we're on this black table, it's, right. it blends right in. But and then you get one of these. You can get a lap tray. Yeah, sure. They're cushiony on the bottom. They're about twenty or thirty dollars, and uh, you set it there. And you know, when it's on your lap, it's going to be the right, right, right height. Um, and then. Are we going to go into Yeah, go ahead. Raise yeah. up. So the, the right height for this is when you're in good posture, you're here and you got your keyboard properly. When you go horizontal from your eyeballs, it should be about the center or just above the screen. Depends on who you're reading. But either way, it's going to be a lot better than when you're down. Um, I can speak personally. Like at the end of the night, it's like, I want to go in my recliner and do a little work on the computer. Right. And I cannot get good I get a head. Yeah. yeah, it can't be in your lap. So what I do is I put pillows and I build it up. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah, it, it actually works, but it's it just uh, <laughs> yeah, it's things. not the best thing. It just yeah. uh, unfortunately, and I see so many kids that you know would sit on their bed. Oh and yeah, on, and, and yeah. they wonder why they have neck pain and problems at such a young age. Yeah. So, so oh sh no, go ahead. So here we are. Now you might say, wow, and we have a, an adjustable table here, which works really right. well. And you say, I don't have one of those. They're expensive. But again, just do something to, to raise it up. And this is the height 
that it should be at. And uh, yeah, it's going to make a big difference. Now, uh, the other one that was really a problem area for me is, uh, you know, I had everything at the right height. Sure. But I was I have bifocals. Ah. And there is no way to read through my bifocals without going like this. Right. So because you got to line things up. So yeah, or if you have trifocals. So I bought some glasses that are just for the computer. The reading glasses. Sure. I got them through Zenny Optical. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you want to know, um, and you can get them really inexpensive. And they're set for 40 inches, mm -hmm. and um, I just slip those on, and I can sit up straight, and sure. I can read it, and it works out fantastic. It was probably one of the best purchases I made this year. And so. I find with my cheaters, I have to do the same thing. Right. I, oh. uh, so I did talk to my eye doctor about it when I got an eye exam just about a month ago. And he says, well, you need to change the number that I'm at 2.5. Uh, and he said, well, go to a 2.0, and that's going to change. Where am I? Oh, did that make noise, Mike? <laughs> Sorry. Um, so that the, if you had cheaters, the number you have here is going to change the distance that your focus is in. It's, it's doing similar to what Bob did, but it's, right. you, you're doing it on your own, and you have to play with it a little bit. Um, so so you, you'll need a separate set of cheaters for Yeah, this. and then you're just keeping by your computer. Right. Or like I do if you get my the dollar store ones, you buy a whole bunch of them. My wife's got about 50 of them around the house. <laughs> I mean, they're everywhere. Yeah, it's a real so. treat. <laughs> okay, next one. If your back slumps, there's no way you can have good posture. Yeah. I mean, if you're like this, you, you just can't. You, you're next either going to extend or it's going to be forward head. Yep. So... If you're in a soft chair like a couch, you want to make sure you put a throw pillow behind it. Right. Give support. Right. If you're in an office chair, you want to have one with you know a good design that's fairly solid. Right. A lot of times you're just doing this. What Brad's doing, you're you're on the edge of the chair. Yep. So like this. If you're if you're leaning back and you yep. you don't have things aligned with good posture. And some people, I've had a lot of people, particularly young people, I say I correct their posture and I say, oh, this is strange. Yeah, it yeah. It hurts a little bit. And it's because they're so used just to this. They're so accustomed to yeah. that. It, it feels like they're really sitting up straight when they actually just look normal. Yeah. So uh, also in your car seat, um, Ooh, you got to yeah. really watch out. You might have to get a lumbar support or right. something in the car seat to help keep you s straight up. Um, using, you, I hate, you know, people hate when we bring this up, but, you know, your iPad or your phone, um, you want to make sure you bring it up to you and they're not going down to it. Because right. this is what we see all the time. Yep. I, know, so, I have to think of it myself. You know, you, you think about it like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yep. Uh, uh, so what? you don't need it. Uh, you know, if you're down here with it, it's fine, but you need to look down with yeah, your you eyeballs. Move your right? eyes. Your eyeballs only. do that. We don't want this. Now, the other one is if you're using too many pillows in bed, especially li lying on your back, yeah. that's going to move your head forward mm -hmm. like this. Or, Brad, do you want to tell your experience? Watch the TV. Well, which one? <laughs> 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 oh yes <laughs> watch the tv on the couch yeah and i thought i had good posture and i thought this is great i'm going to be in a nice posture and the next day i wake up with a terrible neck ache uh so yeah, it was bad for you uh, about week, about, yeah yeah, yeah and you and pay it, the price yeah so yeah so i've eliminated that posture <laughs> so those are some of the common things that are going to cause forward head this, by the way, this program is a part of a series of, of videos on neck pain. Go to bobandbrad.com, go to neck pain, mm -hmm. and you'll find, I don't know, what are we got, 20-some, I think, 20-some videos, yeah. and you just watch the ones that uh, pertain to you. Right, just go to the title, you'll see it, uh, click on it, and you'll notice on the side it says PDF, there's a printout that'll come out of your computer and it'll have on paper a review of the video with the exercises on there so that you can use that for a reminder, you don't have to keep going back. It's a wonderful deal, it's completely free, we do not even ask for your email, and it keeps all of them right there so you don't have to keep searching the YouTube channel for when you lose a video, it's like, how do I get back to the one? Right. I'm, you know, you can't remember the title. So yep. it's very convenient. Our gift to you. That's right. Bob and Brad say happy birthday. <laughs> you know. <laughs>